Hey everyone, Jamie Phillips, Action Auto Parts, Super Dave's on it right there over there by Black Betty Bamboo Lamb. We're at an undisclosed location. This is a car I've talked to the family about for a while. It belonged to this lady, a sweet woman. I've, I've known her since I was a kid, went to school with her, her kids. And when she passed, her husband just didn't want to get rid of it. And then he's passed. And so I've talked to the, the two sons and they're ready to get rid of it. And I said, well, I just want to make sure it's not uh, locked up. So it's not been licensed since 2012. But honestly, you get past the scaly stuff and all that, it's still pretty straight. The interior, I mean, they took good care of it. It's a little faded over there where the sun's hit it. So uh, we closed the junkyard at five. And uh, of course, all the tires are flat. First, I guess Dave's just gonna try it with the battery that was on the car, just to see if it'll turn over. It's got the uh, 2.8 V6, or 3.8, yeah. And more or less just gonna check it if it's not locked up. Then we brought a battery, and we brought some gas and some starting fluid. A little warm in there, ain't Dave? Maybe open that other door up too. But uh, I can just see washed, waxed, buffed, clay bar, the whole nine yards, repaint the tops of the bumpers. And then if you can get that, uh, something to match that interior where the sun's faded on that, uh, maybe re-dye those seats. But uh, I've kind of always liked those, these cougars and the T-birds of this era. So, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That battery been on there for a minute. But uh, Dave's going to change the battery. I just wanted to do a preliminary one right now just to kind of show the car. And then um, then if we do get some success, we'll, we'll do some follow-up. When I talked to the gentleman before he passed, he was willing to sell it at that time. We've got a bail dinging now, Dave. Right. Yeah. Uh, but we didn't agree on a price, and then he got sick, and I just let it go. Yeah, we've got a bail ringing. And so, anyway, we're going to see uh, uh, if, uh, make sure it's, like I said, just not locked up or something. And then, then kind of go from there. Yeah, you lost your bail. But um, if for some reason that thing would fire up and run, we could get the tires aired up, we'd drive it back. We're about, uh, if I'm guesstimating, probably eight, maybe nine mile from the junkyard which this one's not going in the junkyard, no, by no means. This one this one here I'd want to do something with, like I said, see what kind of a change we could make in its appearance and what have you. But uh, probably still going to have to change the battery. He's getting enough juice to where the, where the doors is open for the bell to ring, unless he wants to put the jump box on it. But if it gets to cranking, then we're going to get the, the starting fluid and... Uh, and maybe put a little bit of gas in it and just see. It had a big squirrel's nest. Uh, it wasn't as big as I remembered. I think uh, some of it had gotten taken away or something, but he um, he pulled a lot of it out away from it. It was the old insulation and stuff that had gotten down in there. But uh, So you just gonna change it or what are you gonna do, bud? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I wish it at least bumped before you got into all of that but it's just about bone stock original as you can get. Hang on, Dave. All right. Yes. Starter clicking a little bit, but that battery's low, these forwards and stuff won't start. They won't turn over. So. And it's. All right. Yeah. And we let it run for a little bit, let it charge or put the booster pack on it too, see what it do. Sir? Yeah. But, uh, oh, no. Yeah. 
Yeah, if we could just get it to bump, crank a little bit, because we don't want to run the only battery we brought, brought with us, run it down, uh, trying to crank it. We'd rather try to see if it do some cranking a little bit up front before we put the, the battery that we brought down here on it. But at least getting the, the bells ringing and some lights coming on is a little bit of a plus. All right, you say when. I thought the interior stuff still pretty decent. Got to fix that horn button where to stay in there if we buy it. Probably won't let this one. Huh? No, nope, I ain't got no lights or nothing in here. Yeah. Dead. On the jump box? No, the jump box is good. Oh. When you put it on there, it's like it's water yeah. What is that? Put that other battery on it. Okay. All right. So we'll let this one. Uh, yeah, we're getting power again now. Bail? Bail, yeah. All right, hold on. Oh. Um, but I was hoping it would crank before I ended this one and then we try to come back and do a follow up if we could get it to start. All right. All right, so let's do this. We're gonna wrap this one up. We're seven minutes in, so give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, please subscribe, and we will do a uh, we'll do a follow up here in a minute. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna switch batteries. All right, yeah, he's gonna switch batteries, so uh, stay tuned. I'll catch you in the next one.